Hi, Brian from Wise Buys Guys, and today I'm going to talk about this hummingbird feeder I bought. Who reviews a hummingbird feeder? I do, because I've bought some crappy ones before, and I finally found a good one. What makes a hummingbird feeder good? Mostly, for me, it's this solid glass design. It's heavy. It's not going to sway in the wind, spill this stuff out. It's got a really nice vintage look. Five feeding ports here. Comes apart really easily for fill and for cleaning. I've got some really cool pictures of some birds that I'll share with you here. So with this vintage design, it doesn't sort of mess up my wife's aesthetic of she's got a lot of hanging stuff here and across the porch. Some of the other ones just looked like a piece of crap and guess what they are. And they're super lightweight, like those plastic ones. So any gust of wind, that thing is just going to fly right off of here. The hanger is on there really solid and metal because this thing is, like I said, very heavy. I've had a lot of action with this thing and I... I've bought them before and no birds have ever come around, so I don't know if it's the design or just sort of luck of where I live, but I've had so much action with this thing all day long. They're buzzing around it. They're even competing for areas <laughs> to get in there and use it. This feeder hangs outside my office through a window right here, and so I keep my window cracked a little bit, and when I hear them buzz, because they've got a very distinct sound that they make with their wings. I can just stand up from my desk, snap a few pictures, and they're turning out great. So this is a this is a highly recommend, and as bird feeders go, I'm going to give this five stars. Thanks. See you next time. I wanted to add, too, I was just snapping a couple photos of this thing, and literally I'm standing this far away from it. And while I was doing that, one came up to feed. So I don't think you'll have any problems like if you want to enjoy them, being out on your patio and and having them come around. They don't seem to be deterred by much going on around them. So like I said, I'm a foot away from this thing. I can reach out and touch it. And the thing just flew up.